Black Friday and you can't beat this deal. Drury offering up free admission today as the Lady Panthers, the number one team in the country, hosting in-state powerhouse and recruiting rival Central Missouri in the Doubletree Thanksgiving Classic. Jenny's just two years removed from a national championship while Drury coming off a Final Four appearance last season. Do you plagued by slow starts all year? Dissel camp out of the gate, hoping to change that. Lady Panthers out to a 9-4 start midway through the half, doing most of their damage inside the free throw line. Off the bench, Isaiah Lynch gets in the box score. Jenny's, though, been here before. Lead cut to one, but Drury applying that signature pressure defense. Lady Panthers average over 32 turnovers a game. This one leads to a Dissel camp fast break land. The senior still in Thanksgiving feast mode in the first half. 11 of Drury's first 16 points. She finished with 22. Central Missouri staying right with them. A three-point game cut to just one as Alyssa Davis, the speedy point guard, canes the jumper. DU up 16-15 midway through quarter two. A couple trips later, Jenny's now up one, and look who it is. She missed the first four games of the season to injury. Welcome back, Peyton Richards. The triple puts Drury back up a deuce. Drury in Central Missouri trading baskets to end the half. Very competitive first 20 minutes of hoops. Morgan Van Heift under the basket, but it's Drury up narrowly, 27-26 at halftime. We jump to the fourth. After being down three, Central Missouri opens the quarter on a 7-0 run to lead 46-42. Lady Panthers cut it to two, then they go to Robinson. She'd been quiet all game, but knifes into the lane and ties it at 48. But the Jennies respond and go back up two. Then a couple possessions later, huge shot by Gigi McAtee to push the lead to four. Three minutes left and a lot of nerves inside the O. But Central in foul trouble and it costs them the lead. Tied at 52, 140 left. Central ball, Drury needing a steal. They get it. Let's stay with the play. It's going to wind up with Kelsey Winfrey, perhaps formerly known as the Mizzou transfer. Uh, she's officially a Lady Panther now. Biggest moment of Winfrey's Drury career thus far. The triple puts Drury up 55-52. Still a lot of time left though. 115 to go. Kim Crown's layup makes it a one-point game with just over a minute left. And then here comes the controversy. Next trip down, Disselkamp finds Bernard cutting to the rim. It's called a jump ball. The Drury bench irate. Let's look closer. We freeze frame it here. Looks a little bit like Bernard's arm is getting hooked, but alas, central ball down one. Here we go. Under six seconds left. Controversy not over. Central inbounds, McAtee with possession. It appears she gets tripped up, but no call made. Buzzer sounds, Drury wins. Jenny's coach Dave Slifer is out on the court beside himself, and he's not leaving. Earns himself a technical foul after the buzzer. Disselkamp hits both free throws to put the kibosh on this one. A wild finish, but hey, I guess it wouldn't be the holidays if at the end of the night, Everyone wasn't mad at each other. Coach Molly Miller on the finish and the grit to pull through and Winfrey on the shot. Yeah, I mean, that's that stuff is tough to officiate, but, um, you know, I, I think we're not going to stop playing our style of defense, which is really aggressive, traps, um, rotations, and I was proud of our kids how they executed down at the end. Um, you know, they executed a defensive game plan that obviously um, – they did get great looks, and so that's what you want to kind of do is just lock down defensively in those situations. Honestly, I wasn't thinking, so it was probably a good thing. Homie passed me the ball. I was wide open, so I just shot it. I didn't think about it. It's what we've been doing in practice, um, repetition, repetition in practice, and it paid off in the game. I mean, it means a lot for me. It means a lot for this team, and I think we're only going to go up from here. 